Hello, I'm back, Lucha FM, with another episode of Fight Club Pro TW9. Um, where you left us off last, we brought in some new road agents that's improved the wrestling overall. Um, I brought in Don Callis to be the manager of Levi Muir, which has helped greatly. Luke Jacobs continues to get better and better as well. So, all good positives. Um, offline, what I've done before this episode is I've brought in some more women's wrestlers from all over the place um because the women's the women's roster was very small so i want to try and get the best women's roster possible with the wrestlers available there's a few surprises in there as well which i'll go through in time so this show coming up now which is our big event um will be just women's matches for this one so i'll be back in a second we'll see how it goes <laughs> Right, so here we go. So let's go with the usual Star Wars. There we go. And then we'll just do get rid of that. See what the locker room what's happened in the locker room. So Flash Morgan Webster got into a heated argument with the fan outside outside uh, I can't get the words out today. Outside the arena and had to be restrained before things got physical. Okay, fair enough. Uh yeah, I brought in Tessa Blanchard. Um yes, I know. But we'll see how she gets on. Um, not not started very well here. So Tessa Blanchard has gotten into a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room for her selfish behaviour. Um, Soraya Knight caused heat backstage. When a mean spirit of ribs, she called on Zaya Brookside. Nearly got led to a fight. So we don't what the first match is going to be. Um, Maki Ito and Charlie Evans have recently bonded back. Sorry, uh, really bonded backstage. Having discovered a shared love of Swedish cinema. Well, there you go. Uh, Millie McKenzie was in a delightful mood and brought some great positive vibes to the locker room. That's really good to see. And then Ivelisse uh, Valerius was brought backstage. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing words aren't there. Was brought before wrestlers court. Accused the fans to pick up the share of the tab. Landstorm, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Uh, Heidi Katrina was brought into wrestlers court. Accused of being absorbed by her phone. Training, training, right, okay. So, what we're going to do first is have Zybrook side versus, do you know what? I completely forgot who that, who it was now. Um, so a lot of these matches are going to be eight-way singles to start off with because I'm just trying to test out some of these women wrestlers. Actually, we haven't got that many yet. There's some more coming as well, but we'll tell you about them next show. So what we'll do is we'll have Aaliyah James, Amali, Amira, um, Charlie Evans, Dash, Shikas, uh, Sh Dash Siako, Heidi, Holly Dad, and Ivelisse in the first match. We'll go 15 minutes with this one. Actually, I'll do this as a pre-show match. We haven't done a pre-show match for a while. Singles, women's. Oh, yeah, we've also probably got some of these women wrestlers that I've signed. They're probably not available because they're probably working elsewhere. So we'll go Janae Tai, Katrina Walters, who obviously used to be Winter in TNA, and Katie Lee Virtual in WWE. I know her as Nikita from FWA days. Libby Grace. Lizzie Evo, Maki Ito, uh, Maya Yuku Yukai, and then Melia. So we'll have this as a pre show match as well. Right, so that's the pre show booked, I think. I oh, know we've still got 14 minutes, we can do another women's match if we want. Do another eight way singles. So I think actually to be honest, I might just do these eight way women singles matches for the pre show just to see who is good and not good. So Kylie Ray, um we've already done Mercedes Blaze, Maya Mayu, uh Yamashita, Sadie Gibbs, Soraya Knight, Steph the Leader, Sue Young, Tenil Dashwood, and 
we'll do Trisha Dora because I might put um, Tessa against Millie, I think that'd be a good match. We'll do 12 minutes, we'll do that as a pre show match as well. Oh, yeah. Um, right, that's that. So, oh, we're currently six minutes too long in the pre show. Okay, so we'll knock that down to 12. Three minutes, and we'll just knock this, no, not this one, um, knock this one down by three minutes. There you go. So, we've got 12 minutes of pre show each. Um, Right, let's start the show properly. And what we'll do, we'll have Millie versus Tessa. Let's see if she's worth the hassle. We'll do Tessa beating up Millie after the match. Tessa attacks Millie. Right, so that's that. Let's see who else we've got on the women's side of things. So we can do what we can do now is we can have session Mark Martina. I oh, know we can't, she's not available. Um, so we'll leave the women's side for it, women's side of it now. And then what we'll do is we'll have Grado in there against um who should we have them against? Kenny Williams. Leave that there. And then what we'll do is we'll have Kenny Williams attack him after the match. Let's concentrate on putting on some good matches now to keep the fans happy. So we'll go, we'll do two versus two tag team match for the tag titles. So we'll have Mark Andrews, Flash Morgan Webster versus, sorry, my ears are a bit cheap. Um, we go, who's this malicious intent? Oh yeah, we'll try them. Well, I don't think we've done them as a tag team yet. We actually, I think we have actually, but we'll just throw them in it. 17 minutes. The tag titles on the line. Mark Andrews. Flash Morgan Webster retain. Steal the show. Um, right, we've done 65 minutes. We can do a bit more. So let's do a four-way singles. We'll do men's. What we'll have, we'll have. Let's see, Callum Newman is pretty good. We'll have him. We'll have um, Joseph Connors. People like us too. And we'll have. Tempted to put Levi Moore in there, but I better not because I think he'll ruin the match. I think in some ways, um, Nathan Cruz will do. We'll put him in there. We've got eighteen minutes. We'll leave it blank, and then what we'll do is we'll do a four-way match for the title. We'll have Luke Jacobs, Trent available? No, he's not. So we all have. Oh, he's available. Trent. Um, who else? Rampage Brown, maybe. We are a bit light on numbers here when it comes to capable women, capable men's wrestlers. I think some of our best ones are already booked or booked elsewhere for the night. Is it Dave Mastiff then? Right, twenty minutes for the title. We'll go storytelling for this one. There you go, storytelling. And then we'll have Luke Jacobs retain. Like so. Yep, 
it's fine Trent you just have to get over it right here we go so the first pre-show match was won by Charlie Evans 35 for the segment 32 for the wrestling is any women here that are pretty good so Dash uh, Chisako with a 40 is pretty good Ivy Lee with a 36 uh, who is the worst one Anira so maybe she needs to stay as a manager for Michael Oku and then maybe Amali, I'm sorry, Aaliyah James can wrestle sparingly, I think. Maybe in tag matches where other wrestlers can cover her mistakes. Um, the second women's match was won by Maki Ito. Got 41 for the segment, 36 for the wrestling. Uh, Katrina Waters with a 42, which is pretty good. Um, Le Layla Hirsch with a 41. Maki Ito with a 45. And then Maya Yuki High, how do you pronounce that? Yuki High, Yuki High, with a 49. Melina wasn't very good, neither was Liz uh, Evo or Libby Grace. So again, they will be used sparingly moving forward. And then the other women's match, we had Soraya Knight defeat the rest of them, got 38 for the segment, 37 for the wrestling. Uh, oh, that's good. Maya Yamahita, Yamashita with a 57. That's really good. She can probably have a good match with Millie and uh, Session Lock Martina. 41 for uh, Trisha Dora as well, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the rest, okay, I suppose. Who was the worst one? Um, Sadie Gibbs. So, yeah, so Sadie Gibbs, Aaliyah James, and Amira moving forward probably won't be wrestling much for us. Uh, so yeah, so in the first match of the main show, Tessa Blanchard defeated Millie McKenzie. Got 58 for the segment, 52 for the wrestling. Millie McKenzie was the better performer out of the two, but uh, Tessa, uh, Therese, was it Therese? No, Tessa, sorry, I thought her name was Teresa. Then. Tessa did all right though. Um, a good women's match to start the show. The angle afterwards got 42, which is good. Uh, Kenny Williams defeated Grado. 41 for the second, 37 for the wrestling. Kenny Williams was the better worker out of the two. Angle afterwards got 30. Subculture retained the tag titles um, when Mark Andrews, sorry, Flash Morgan Webster pinned Harlem Mills with a 450 splash. 69 for the segment, 59 for the wrestling. And uh, who was the stand up for Mark Andrews with a 70? It does help now having better road agents, it does make a hell of a difference, I think. Um, Kid Lycos 2 defeated Callum Newman, and Joseph Connors and Nathan Cruz when he submitted Joseph Connors. Got 51 for the segment, 45 for the wrestling. And uh, Kid Lycos 2 was really good, so was um, Callum Newman. The other two weren't too bad as well. And in the main event, Luke Jacobs defeated Trent Seven, Rampage Round, Dave Mastiff. He um, submitted Dave Mastiff with a 54 leg lock. And then uh, he's made. Successful defence number nine at the heavyweight title. Got 51 for the segment, 46 for the wrestling. And um, Trent Seven was the slightly better performer of the two out of him and Luke Jacobs. But nicely Luke Jacobs doing his bit as well. And then the show increased our popularity in one region. Um, we didn't do as many angles and interview segments, so that was my fault on that one. Um, 43 for the right, 43 over. 43 rating overall, 94 people turn up, so I think that's the biggest crowd we've done. Um, financial report, we made a loss of 20 grand this show, which is really not good at all. I keep clicking way too quickly, but okay. Right, on that one, I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, I'm back for the next show. But I just wanted to show you this, so I just had a quick look at my creative, and the women have just basically took over. Um, literally four out of the five of our franchise players are women's wrestlers, so maybe that means I need to start booking more women's matches. Um, yeah, we've signed this woman's wrestler as well called Yunagi Sayaka. So uh, Christopher Daniels is in there as well. And then next big things again, two women's wrestlers, uh, Veni and Mai Saruga. Hot prospects is literally all women's wrestlers, including Veni, Mai Saruga, Maria. Uh, Steph Delander and Shakara, Talk the Talk, uh, Makioto, Don Callis, Justin Thunder Liger, who's just a road agent, Christopher Daniels and Raven, 
showstoppers Makioto, Moya Yamashita, uh, Tsuka Sawa Fujimoto, Mai Saruga and Veni, Ring Generals uh, Moya Yamashita, Marco Loku, uh, Tsuka Fujimoto, Rocky Romero and um, Chihiro Hashimoto. And then at the moment, who's hot? Trent Seven, Mark Andrews, Minnie McKenzie, Flash Moore, Wesson, Luke Jacobs, who's not? Dave Master, Joseph Connors, Mark Haskins, Easton Reese, and Elliot Jordan. So let's have a quick look at Hidden Gems. Kreider, Jackie Polo, Ollie Burns, Esther Orton, um, but not too bothered about them. So let's crack on with the next show. So this will probably be more women's. Maybe I'll, I'll alternate each episode, so... We'll have one episode with men and then one episode with women. See how that goes. So we'll do women's wrestlers on this one. Performance service backstage. Uh, man like Doris and Jean Money are now travel buddies. Ashley Dunn brought in the mood backstage simply by being a cheerful and fun to be around. Lance Storm has been passing on tips to his unused psychologist protege to Neil Dashwood. Same with Tyre Valkyrie. Word is that Fujiwara is openly uh, questioning Christopher Daniels, a senior road agent. They're never happy with who's the road agent, are they? It's all a senior road agent. It's always somebody moaning. Uh, Saya uh, Saraya Knight annoyed Kylie Ray by mocking her lack of uh, her lack of popularity. Well, guess what? The first match is going to be Kylie Ray versus Saraya Knight, and Kylie Ray's going over everybody. Um, Trent Seven's got a lot of heat backstage with the rest of the for his behaviour. And then Tessa Blanchard got into a heated argument with Fan Outstage, outside, sorry. Uh, Joe Lando calls backstage heat when he a mean spirit to Ridley Paul and Chris Hero nearly led to a fight breaking out. And then uh, Grado tried to bring Brendan White to some backstage team building, but only succeeded in annoying him. Training, training. Steph Delando was brought to a wrestler's court, basically moaning about stuff all the time and bumming everybody out, okay. Jack Styles was brought to a wrestler's court, accused of joining the wrestler locker room for a night out. Okay. Um, several people have re- yeah, several people have remarked that Rampage Brown has been hanging out with Matthew Horgan recently, and that is starting to have an influence. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, we'll see. Right, so it was Soraya Knight and uh, Kylie Ray, wasn't it? There we go. I had to remember them. So Kylie Ray. Oh. Raya. That'll be the first match to kick off the show. Kylie Ray wins. Domination, Kylie Ray. Yep. You're gonna be unhappy. That's just how it is, Sarah. We'll give Soraya a bit of heat afterwards though, and she can attack Kylie Ray after the match. Right, so that's the first match done. Um, yeah, so Yamashita, and it was, who was the other good women's wrestler? Um, Makioto, wasn't it? Is Makioto available? She's not available. Oh, yeah, she is. Right, Makioto. I'll have Makioto go over. Oh, oh. Open match. And then we'll have Makioto after this after the match being interviewed. We'll leave it as, actually no, we'll do it scripted just to be on the safe side. And then, what other women's wrestlers is there that we've got? We have got some new ones that weren't, that weren't, about, that weren't ready for the last event that we just did. So we've got Sheeta, because AEW by the looks of it have released a few, quite a few of their wrestlers. Um, so we've got Sheeta, oh yeah, we've got Sakamura, Satamura, sorry, the final boss. Uh, oh, we can't have Sheeda in there at the moment. She's injured. 
who should we put in there with at Jordan Grace? Yeah, we've also signed Jordan Grace to a paper appearance deal. Uh, we'll leave that blank, let them figure it out. And then we'll go women's again. And we'll have Nimi versus who should we have again? So yeah, we've got Camille, we've got Lady Frost, we've got Killer Kelly. Should we put Killer Kelly in there? Let's put her in there. So, right, so we've done 80 minutes, we can, we can leave it as that, I think. Right, so Kylie Ray defeated Soraya Knight, so 30 ranked for the second, 31 for the wrestling. Uh, neither were that amazing in the ring, but it was alright at the end, we got the crowd hotter. Um, Makioto defeated Maya Yamashita with the flying big head. 66 for the segment, 57 for the wrestling. Um, Yamashita was the better one out of the two. They've got great chemistry, so that's really good to see. The angle afterwards, got 44. Um, she's getting better at a gimmick. And then Jordan Grace defeated uh, Maiko Satamora with the fourth from Grace. Got 56 for the segment, 51 for the wrestling. Uh, Jordan Grace was the standout performer out of the two. And then the main event was Millie McKenzie defeating Killer Kelly with the Ace Crusher. Got 56 for the segment, 52 for the wrestling. And uh, Millie McKenzie with a 53 rating overall. But Killer Kelly wasn't too bad as well. So not too bad. Increased the popularity in one region. 55 overall rating, 68 people. Um, let me know in the comments section if you think I should just do a women's only um, show instead of having men's on here. Like eventually what I might do is, is have like one TV show if I can with just the men and then one show with just women. So I might start doing that actually. Um, I've got one uh, one show a week at the moment so I could change that to two. I might do that but then look how much it's costing me each week. That's the problem. Right, so we're still 15 in the Midlands, slightly higher in North and England and everywhere else other than Scotland and Ireland. Right, and I'll be back in a sec with the next show. Right, I'm back. Sorry, everyone, I was clicking and forgot to press record. Um, so um, Tessa Blanchard asked for a pay increase, which I agreed to, and there was something else, but nothing too important, really. Uh, Steve Linsky going on with Black Terry after Larry Me criticised him as senior referee. Uh, Sadie Gibbs has got a lot, of, a lot of heat backstage from the rest of the locker room due to recent attitude, and there's times that could lead to a very bad situation for Handelsy. So Sadie Gibbs is going to be out of here before you know it. Um, the backstage room mill has been in overdrive after Venny and Ivelisse apparently got into a heated argument. I want to apologise for that. Uh, just burp, sorry. The backstage room mill has been overdrive after Soraya Knight and Mike Bird apparently got into a heated argument. Training, training. Um, Dan Reed got into a argument with Grado backstage, annoyed at the morale of his attempts at team building. There has been some heat between Brendan White and the morale officer Grado. Uh, Maiko Satomura has been passing on Chip's microphone working to a protege Chihiro Hashimoto. Steve Linsky was brought for a wrestler's call, accused of being an hour late, blah blah blah. And then Dash Sh uh, Shisako was Chi no Chisako? Chisako. Was brought for a wrestler's court, accused of failing to pick up the share of the tab. Fine. Right, that's that. Alright. So this will be the last show of the episode. It's um, not as many shows as usual, but it's because the event went quite long. I want to try and keep this each episode to about half an hour so you don't get too bored. Um, but yeah, so we'll. I think we're going to do another women's one because I'm quite. I'm enjoying booking the women's wrestlers and trying to figure out who's good and not good at the moment. So we'll start the show with Hashimoto versus um, Maya Yukihai. 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 We'll do that to start the show. And then we'll do an angle afterwards where Chihiro attacks. Maya I'll just put Pope 
Hashimoto attacks. Uh, you, 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 no, sorry, I did it the wrong way. Yuka High. There we go. Right, that's that one. Um, who hasn't? Who's pretty good on here? Let's have a look. I think Nicole Matthews is pretty good from what I remember back in the day. Uh, we'll try her against Venny. Give them two a chance. I might do some pre-show women's matches as well. To give debuts to some women's wrestlers on there as well. We'll just have Venny attack Nicole after the match. So that's that. And then, right, let's have a look. Women's. She does back from her injury, so we can have her in a match. So we'll have her against Makioto. We'll leave it blank. We'll let the AI decide. And then we'll do a character development for. Makioto. I'll just put Makioto. Leave us that. Cast that. There we go. Like so. And then what we'll do is we'll have Session Mock Martino versus. Who, who should we have her against? Mercedes Martinez. We'll leave the AI to decide. Interesting. Right, let's go. So, uh, Maya Yukahai defeated Chihiro Hashimoto with the God Migration. The segment got 55, wrestling got 52, and uh, Hashimoto was the better out of the two, but a pretty good match overall. Good start to the show. And then the angle afterwards got 34. Um, Nicole Matthews defeated Venny with the Vancouver Maneuver. Second got 52, 47 for the wrestling. Nicole Matthews was pretty decent. So Venny was better out of the two, so pretty good. That's good. The angle after was got a 28. And then the Shida versus... Oh, so Shida defeated Ito, uh, Ito sorry, with the full metal muffler. Got a 62 for the second, 56 for the wrestling. Shida is understandably very good. She got 62. Uh, Mika, uh, Maki Oto worked the crowd well using the freedom to improvise for a, a good advantage. That got 53, which is really good for us. And then Session Moth Martina defeated Mercedes Martinez. She makes defense number two of the women's title. Got 46 for the segment, 46 for the wrestling. And uh, Mercedes was slightly better at the two. Kid Lycos 2 needs to be taken off as road agent. Increase their popularity in one region. 49 rating overall. 70 people turn up. So, oh, let's finish this first. We made minus 10 grand, so I'm going to have to use the editor again. Still 15 in the Midlands. But yeah, overall, been a pretty good episode when it comes to women's wrestling. Um... Hopefully you've liked this episode. Let me know in the comment section if you don't want me to have loads of women's matches. I just think there's loads of good women's workers on there. So I'm trying to figure out, like, say, eight or nine, ten of the uh, women's wrestlers that are really good. So then we can have them in the mix with Millie and um, Session Mark Martina. So then that way I kind of have a better idea what the women's roster's like. We can also do a women's tag team roster as well we can kind of mix them together so let me know but anyway on that note that's me done for today thank you as always i will be back next week with another episode so in the meantime enjoy the rest of your weekend and all the best to you and i'll speak to you soon bye